Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Elias. And today, we're going to read a new book. Are you ready? All right. Let's get started. So, the title of our book is what? Hummingbirds. And there's one right there. Isn't it beautiful? And this is written by Avalyn Davidson. Okay? So, let's look at it. Hummingbirds. Here, you can see a hummingbird right here. Look at its wings. Wow. So pretty. And what is it doing? Is it taking care of its babies? No. Is it making a nest? No. Is it eating? Yes, it's eating. Right? All right, let's go on. So here you can see a really big hummingbird, or the picture's big, and then you see a smaller hummingbird right here. Look at how small this hummingbird is. I cannot believe it. Now, if you read or listened to the book Tools, you probably remember what this is. Do you know what that is? A pencil. Very good. It's a pencil. And this part of the pencil right here is the jiuge, the eraser. Look at how small that hummingbird is. It's sitting on top of the eraser. It's just like, like that big. Can you imagine having a pet that big? Oh my goodness, and it could fly around. That would be incredible. <laughs> Hummingbirds are little. Everyone read with me. Hummingbirds are little. Some hummingbirds are the smallest birds in the world. Everyone read with me. Some hummingbirds are the smallest birds in the world. That's amazing. Now, look at this picture. Wow, there's a lot going on here. I see a lot of hummingbirds. How about we count them together, huh? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, there are ten hummingbirds on this picture. In this picture, there are so many. So, what is this hummingbird doing? He's eating, that's right. How about these hummingbirds? What are they doing? They're also eating. And we're about to learn what this is called. All right? First, let's look at him. This hummingbird is using its beak, which is kind of like a mouth, but for a bird. Chickens have beaks. Crows, kamagi, they have beaks. And all birds have beaks. He's using his beak to eat from a flower. That's right. You probably guessed that. Ko a flower. Hummingbirds don't only eat flowers, though, or actually the nectar inside flowers. They also eat other things, such as insects. This is an insect. It's a kind of bug. Bug. B-U-G. A bug as is an insect. Then we have this. What is this, boys and girls? A spider. That's right. Gomi. Right. And then we have this. Now, this is a new word for you. Let's look at it. Can anybody try and say that word? Let's sound it out. Feeder. Feeder. All right? Feeder. So a feeder has liquid ecce inside of it that the birds can drink. This liquid is like the liquid that's found inside flowers. It's very, very similar. Hummingbirds have long beaks. Read with me. Hummingbirds have long beaks. They drink nectar from flowers. They drink nectar from flowers. They drink nectar from feeders. They eat insects and spiders. So, last thing before we go on to the next page, I want to make sure you understand this word, nectar. All right? Nectar is kind of like 
sugar. It's like sugar. And what happens when you eat sugar? You get a lot of energy, right? So hummingbirds need that energy and they get it from nectar in here, the feeder, and in the flower. Now, look at this picture. Here, you can see this. Oh, what's that? A helicopter, that's right. And then here, we have another hummingbird, a very, very big hummingbird. So, what can a helicopter do? Fly. It can fly. What do hummingbirds do? They fly. Hummingbirds fly fast. Everyone read with me. Hummingbirds fly fast. They can hover like a helicopter. Like that. Everyone read? They can hover like a helicopter. They can fly backward. They can fly backward. That's amazing. So, just like a helicopter, hummingbirds can fly this direction or they can fly this direction. I think they're the only birds that can go both backwards and forwards. That's amazing. Other birds have to turn around to go backwards, but not the hummingbird. They can fly backward. Pretty cool. Now, let's look at this. So, here we're going to talk about something that we talked about before. So, what is this? A spider and a spider web. Then we have this right here, which is kind of like fur, kind of like tol, or yang, like yang tol, like uh, sheep fur. All right, it's called lichen. And this right here is what? This is a nest. What do birds do in nests? They lay eggs. So inside here are little hummingbird eggs. And this is probably the mommy hummingbird. Hummingbirds make little nests. Everyone read with me. Hummingbirds make little nests. They use lichen. Everyone, they use lichen. Some use spider webs too. Some use spider webs too. Both of these I'm imagining are very, very, very strong, which is what the nests need to keep the little baby hummingbird eggs safe. Now, look at this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what those are? Those are jelly beans. Jelly beans. Oh, they're so good. And then, whoa, what's this? And that. What? <laughs> this is an egg. But is it a chicken egg? Mm, no, no, no. This is an ostrich egg. Gui nada. Gui nada, excuse me. An ostrich egg. A very, very big egg. And then this is a regular egg. Just like a chicken egg. Antak, antakal or takal, right? hen egg. And then we have this, which is kind of like this. So is this a jelly bean? Maybe. The size is very similar. Let's look. Oh, it's a hummingbird egg. I can't believe. So here we have an ostrich egg, which is very big, a hen egg, which is kind of small, and then a hummingbird egg, which is very, very tiny, very, very, very tiny, very, very small, about the size of a jelly bean, I think. Hmm. The mother hummingbird lays two tiny eggs. Everyone read with me. The mother hummingbird lays two tiny eggs. Some eggs are as small as jelly beans. Wow. Everyone, some eggs are as small as jelly beans. The mother hummingbird keeps the eggs warm. Hmm, everyone read with me. The mother hummingbird keeps the eggs warm. Wow, that's amazing. There she is, 
Here's the mommy hummingbird sitting on the eggs. And here is the nest, right? Hmm, now, look at this mommy hummingbird. Oh, look, and then we have some, we have some new, new little friends right here. Can you see them? They must be the newborn baby hummingbirds. Wow. Hmm, do you know what those are? Kompodo. We also call them raisins in English. Raisins. Raisins are very, very delicious, right? Do you think she's feeding raisins to the hummingbirds? Hmm, I don't think so. Maybe, but probably not. Then here, what's this? An insect. Very good, an insect. Also known as a bug. Or if you want to talk about what kind of insect this is, this is called a fly, potty. I'm sure your mom maybe has a potty che at home, which is a fly swatter, because flies are very annoying. So you have to, you have to get rid of them. Anyway, Let's find out what the mother hummingbird is doing. The baby hummingbirds are tiny. Everyone repeat after me. The baby hummingbirds are tiny. Some are as small as raisins. Aha! Everyone read with me. Some are as small as small as raisins. The mother hummingbird feeds her babies insects. She's feeding the insects to the baby. Everyone read with me. The mother hummingbird feeds her babies insects. She keeps the babies warm. She keeps the babies warm. So, the baby hummingbirds are as small as raisins. That's like that big. The cap of this pen is bigger than the babies. And she's feeding the babies these insects and keeping them warm. Wow, what a great mother. Now, let's look at this. Here we have some trees, some flowers, and two more hummingbirds. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to talk about here. I don't think we're going to talk about trees or flowers, but I think we're going to talk about Seasons, kejol. So, what season do you think this is? Pom, yorum, kyor, or kar? Which one? Fall, spring, summer, or winter? This one looks like winter. Let's see. Oh, it's fall. I was wrong. It's kar. Fall, fall. When all the leaves fall off the trees. And then this season, this one's easier. Which one do you think this is? This one is palm, spring. Good, you guys got it. All right, so let's learn about what hummingbirds do in the fall and spring. In fall, some hummingbirds fly south. Aha, uh -huh. in the fall, they fly south. They stay there for the winter. Hmm, why do you think they stay there for the winter? Because it's warm, maybe? In spring, they fly back north to our gardens. Wow, that's great. All right. So, in the fall, some hummingbirds fly south. They stay there for the winter. And then in the spring, they fly back north to our gardens. All right, boys and girls. This is the last page of our book today. So, repeat with me. Babies, beaks, eggs, feeders, flowers, and nests. Great. I hope you guys had a good time learning about hummingbirds and their life and how they fly, what they eat, and their babies. So until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.